Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our About page on our channel to learn about other ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. Today's Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 18, verses 15 through 20. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen. I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, amen. I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection In today's Gospel, Jesus assures us that where two or three are gathered in His name, He is present among them. This promise offers us hope and encouragement for the times when we experience difficulty and division in our lives. When we come together in unity and prayer and we seek the Lord's guidance, we invite His healing and transformative power into our relationships. As we reflect on this Gospel, let's examine our own lives and our own relationships within the context of the Christian community. Are we willing to take the necessary steps to seek reconciliation when conflicts arise? Do we approach these situations with humility and love and a desire for healing? Let's remember that the call to reconcile and forgive goes way beyond our immediate circle of friends and family. It extends to the entire body of Christ, embracing the diversity and uniqueness of each individual. When we prioritize reconciliation and unity, we become the instruments of God's love and grace in the world. Our unity testifies to the transformative power of Christ drawing others to that life-changing message of the gospel. And so today, let's pray that we, as the community of Christ, will embrace the path of reconciliation, forgiveness, and unity, and live as witnesses to the love of Christ in our lives. <music> 